Hey guys, Cholo here. Uh, episode number, I don't know, of uh, Things and Thoughts. Um, as usual, I'm going to be talking about stupid ass fucking low cows. Uh, <clears throat> let's get this bad chicken fired up and uh, we will talk about some things. Okay, so I heard today, oh, fucking what video was it? Uh, I don't remember what video it was, but Cyrax actually told Marty to get a job like the rest of us. That doesn't sound impactful, but coming from a guy that's never had a job or worked a day in his life, when I spend 40 hours of my week, every week, up on roofs, when it's snowing, raining, doesn't matter, I'm up there every week, and to hear Cyrax try to lump himself in the same category as me, I don't fucking think so. Oh, there's quite a few things here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. So I heard Cyrax in, again, I can't remember what video this is in, but I heard him say, <coughs> uh, it was in the middle of, Sally wanted him or he needed to go somewhere or something something uh, some type of activity and he couldn't because I should straighten that because he had to fight the troll I heard him say he had to fight the trolls I considering he tells Marty it's pathetic that he sits around and waits for another man on the internet to see what he's doing. Cyrax is structuring his whole fucking day around Marty and William Glory Hole and uh, UIS. All, all, all of them. You guys know them. If you're part of that universe, you know who those guys are. And Chance structures his whole day around what those guys are doing to him that day. Fucking hilarious. Fuck him. Uh, w one thing I just can't understand though with that little fucking goblin, the, the tough guy shit. The just, I'm calling you the fuck out. Like, those words carry absolutely no meaning. Especially as many times as he said them and done nothing with the threads. It's literal, literally just words. Just words. They don't mean anything. They don't do anything. They're, they don't indicate that he's going to do something. It's literally just him screaming, I'm calling you the fuck out. It's like, okay. That's going to change what? Nothing? His chance's definition of attack that kind of baffles me or going after that term when somebody maybe somebody brand new just comes across a video of chance and he's 
screaming, crying, talking about how all these trolls go after his family, and they go after his friends, and this is so fucked up. You never go after a man's family. And... At the same time, he's the first one to tell you oh, he's gonna rape your wife or your mother or suck your daddy's dick. They'll talk about your children. Homeboy's got no limits. He'll say whatever he can or to try to hurt whoever he thinks is wrong to him. But it's the tough guy shit. The threatening to fight everybody. The way he talks about himself. I used to be that kid that get in fights. I used to fight all these dudes. You can ask these motherfuckers. Like, who? Who are we going to ask? You never say who you had a fight. You never had a fight, Chance. You maybe had some screaming contests, got slapped around a little bit. But what the fuck ever? Who has it, man? You've never been in a fight. I, uh, <clears throat> I just don't get it. <clears throat> you act so fucking tough on the internet. Telling people to come to your house. You invited Marty to your house twice. And he showed up twice. And you hid behind your grandmother twice. But you called him the coward. Right? Right? Because if somebody travels all the way to fight you in a fight that you invited them to and they don't go right up to your door and knock, they're the bitch. That makes perfect sense. You know, why should you have to be interrupted from your busy day jacking your little fucking infested pepper beating up your crap? Oh, man. Lost my train of thought there for a second. The tough guy shit. The tough guy shit. The tough guy shit. Yeah, that's right. The tough guy shit. You tell all these people that you're gonna put a fucking bullet in their skull. I'll kick your fucking teeth out. I could whip your ass without even fucking trying. What kind of fucking insult is it? I could whip your ass without trying. What? It just sounds like something 13 year old kid says. I heard those same insults when I was a junior high, so. I guess that's why it sounds familiar. Uh, <clears throat> the tough guy shit, man, just. And how many people have been there to fight you? Like four, five, six? To dip, William Glory Hole go, and, and somebody else that you call the cops on? Yeah, because you called the cops on one guy. Can't remember who that was. You called the cops when he was like right at the park, or almost at the park or something, and you guys went and parked on the other side behind the cop, and we proved it. We all saw the proof, and he was like, what the fuck, man? Like, I, I, you act so fucking hard, and your behavior just says 100% bitch. You actually call the cops. I mean, that's, that in and, in and of itself says a lot about you. The fact that you have called the police. The fact that when they're there, you talk to them, man. You fucking talk to them. I mean, that, again, that says a lot about you. About who you are. About the man that you're not. You actually had a police officer call Marty's phone and tell him to leave you alone. But you're doing big gangster shit, big boss shit, right? Have you ever had a thousand dollars in your bank account? 
that wasn't just given to you? Mm -hmm. I mean, have you ever earned, you know, a thousand bucks? Everybody's trying to get you to fight King Cobra JFS. I would fucking love to see it if you do it. I got two thousand bucks for you and five hundred bucks in crypto for you. Cover your expenses to get you to wherever the fight happens, whatever. I would love to see you just back up your shit talk one time. One time. Even if you fucking lose. Which we all know that won't happen because you're a fucking combat specialist. Um, money's still yours. I'm, I'm still, I'll, I'll pay you no matter what. Man, there's just a lot of shit with you, kid. Kid, you're fucking my age. You're 35. Oh, man. You back up your shit talk to one time. That'd be worth that twenty five hundred plus your expenses for me. Love it. You just this tough guy shit that you do, this bullshit working out. This man, it feels good to be working out again. It feels good to be getting back in shape. Shut the fuck up. What shape? You're shape of a fucking potato. Not even a good one. You're fucking a yam. You don't lift weights. You throw around a suitcase in your fucking basement. I watched the that video too. And the fucking the suitcase came up and shit went everywhere. That was great. Um, yeah. You did that. I saw your combat skills. The spinning back fists. The punches. The fucking lethal, homeboy. Lethal. You bad motherfucker, Cyrax. Just kidding. Just kidding. You're not, um, you can't take criticism, you fucking hit your grandmother, great blind Billy, plus all the shit with the 14, 15, 16 year old little girls, the fuck's wrong with you, man, fucking piece of shit, um, yeah, that's all, uh, I guess that's all my things and thoughts that I've really wanted to share, just, Talk a little bit of bullshit about Cyrax and all the dumb shit he does. All just all the hard guy shit. Just he wants to be Billy Badass. He's lucky he's not getting his fucking teeth knocked out. Oh man, the oh fuck that reminds me of the uh, the going after comment. Going after my family. To him that means words. Words. Nothing ever happens. It's so. Excuse me. He over exaggerates fucking everything. You're going after my family could simply mean the friendly Cholo said Cyrax's cousin was a dick. Why is he going after my family? No. But going after your family would be something much more not nice. Nobody's doing that. Nobody's even saying that. People are just giving you what you fucking deserve. Even though you stand there and scream like a big gangster and cry like a big gangster and say, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this body. Like, man. You get on the internet and fucking cry about it? About being bullied? That's some gangster shit, Cyrax. You know what? You say all the time that you're innocent of being a pedophile. Prove it to Chris Hansen. If I have 5,000 bucks, I'll put in your account. That's all you got to do. I mean, you say you can prove it that, that you're innocent. Um, if it's that simple, just. Let's get in touch with Chris Hansen and we'll, we'll figure out a way to make this shit happen. And, uh, yeah, if you convince him and Chris Hansen says, okay, I don't think he's a pedophile, I'll put 5000 in your account right that second. It's just that simple.
and you actually have some money that you earn for yourself. I guess that's all for this episode of Thinks and Thoughts. This is my first venture into a video of this length. I appreciate anybody that stayed this long. If you did, that's fucking fantastic. And you're a patient motherfucker because I'm nervous as shit. I'm really not comfortable doing this yet. So the fact that I'm even pushing myself to make this happen for, you know, all 14 views, 17 views I might get. If I do, that'd be fucking dope. I would appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to like and subscribe, that'd be fucking cool. And if you don't, that's cool too, man. You do what you want to do. Friendly Cholo, I'm done here. Have a good night.